It's Thursday morning. Look at that. Massive icicles hanging off the car. Okay, I'm going to start it up because I'm actually going to head back to Lama because I didn't get round anywhere near as many people I wanted to see as I was supposed to. So I'm going to go back with Charlotte, and James, and Clara. Look at that cracking. We're in the car on the way to Lama. Put the B man. And his wife up here. <laughs> she hates being on camera. Um, he's just showing me that that someone's shown and it's a little forklift made out of a barrow but we're going to go and speak to Merlo for you thank you very much don't forget follow them because they've nearly how many subscribers have you got 730 so not far off a thousand now so we can hit that uh, milestone we're very very happy there we go so go and find them on on youtube shiny shiny 724 have you got any 728s here oh yeah it's one over there team meeting we'll go back to that The shiniest, shiniest combine you've ever seen. Look, they do look something in black, but I just know that once they've done a day's work, black just attracts every single bit of dirt, like like cars. Black car, you can't keep them clean. Oh, see this, this here, this Mac Don, rape swaffer. So Johnny that fixed the Merlot the other day, he put that together. So it comes must come over from America in bits, and they. Malpas built it up, ready for this show. There you go, Malpas stickers on it, actually, look. And that's for picking up. Picking up the rows afterwards, so it chops the OSR, puts it on the floor in a row. Leave it to, there you go. Leave it to wilt and die. And then you pick it up then with something like that afterwards. So we're gonna. Oh no, I thought there'd be more pictures of that working. They obviously make the flex headers a bit like our Convio. Got a demo zone here, got an orange Valter in it, a couple of JCBs. That must be what they're doing. Malone Tedder as well. There's Mikhail. Also, it's a green machines. Bailers, straw choppers, wrappers, square bale wrappers. Round bale wrappers. Bait and stand here, little Barbie. You all right? Things. Ferguson Malone just spotted me. It's that Bateman. That's uh, I don't know if it's David Jones's Bateman, but it's definitely taken in his, his shed or his yard. Is this an RB35? Just look at this muck spreader, and then they've got like a baby one. It's like, I don't know, for someone with sheep perhaps that doesn't have a lot of muck but doesn't want to pay a contractor. It's looks big in the pictures but compared to the fact that if I stand back here you'll see the difference how much smaller it is it's well cute We've got some 32 ton yeah that's solid isn't it and this is a chicken muck I think so we've got the rotors going the opposite way high-speed disc so you can get a a big the spread pattern and then a compactor trailer so you can basically push the load out which is good for tipping in low sheds and we, we tried one actually for wood chips to see if we could squash it up but with our merlots being tall we could squash it just as much anyway so the only advantage for us would be on on lower sheds. We've got red rock here behind it. So is that one of their dump trailers? Yeah. Shear grabs. It's a monster that. Hydraulic sheet on there. 
mixer wagon. No way, wider than I'm making. Bigger telly handlers now. He's super chaser. Then they just fly along the field, pick the bales up, stacks them and then tips them out in a stack. Must be like the Muck's better hole. Black JCB. Another big Muck's better. Take it. Oh, they've opened the guard. I say that needs some guards on it, but that's open so you can show you the drive. A rubber duck. Sorry, no, it's not. It's a trap machine with rubber pads. Really? That's a it's a proper stone trailer. That one, isn't it? Yeah. You want longer conveyors on them so you can fill drills. Maybe you maybe maybe could with that. Just on the stand with spread point. Just never never met them before, but they have now and it's a dustless lime spreader, so it's got a boom on it. And it drops it down these augers. And then all comes out them tubes. So it's not throwing it. So the lime just drops out the bottom and doesn't blow away like it does there. Fairly simple idea. And I also didn't realise spread point is cane trailers. So they make these at one factory and the cane trailers at a different factory. That's never going to rust, is it? That muck spreader, completely galvanised. Huge beet harvester. And a slurry injector. Oh, is this the new Massey 9S? Yeah, that's a good one. Auto tire inflation, so Massey's owned by Agco. Fent have it, like, neater. But they seem to not let Massey and Valtra do it. So you end up with this tube on the side. Nice orange. Set of rollers. Little tank there. Right? It's, it's obviously a demo to show you what they look like. We see them hexagon things. You throw them in your slurry pit and they float. And then they all mesh together. And then that stops the, the fumes coming out the top, if you will. The gas is gassing off because they all mesh across. Like that. But then as the water level goes up and down, they go up and down with it. I'm guessing this is George's TW. We used to have a baler like that. You end up with your cab looking like that after a day's baling. An old Heston. Cousins, they've been going for years. We used to have a, a Cousins machine for going through potato drills to knock the weed out. Yeah, now the tractor's getting me again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get positioned already. Let me know when you're ready. Thank you. No worries. James, are you impressed with the 0% finance on the Malone, <laughs> the Malone Mowers? Don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, smile after three Malone. 
three. Hello. Hello. Right now, all jump. And I'll like get you in mid air. Busy James. What are you doing? You going mowing? Do you like this one, James? This is the new 276, which which I didn't know any difference. But oh, this has a little like dashboard there with red lights on it. Now it's gone to like what the other ones have got. It's like the middle dashboard. But I didn't notice the difference because the other two of ours look like that inside anyway. Your nan getting in. The struggle is real. He's in. Out of all the big machines, James wants to sit on the smallest ones. In your new Spalding's cot, James. Sold out of seed socks. Look at that. But you can still order them online. Right, today's quiz question, which is the best hat? That one or that one? Let me know in the comments. It's getting near the end of the day. Uh, poultry, people are packing up, but I'm just in the career zone and they're sort of packing up now. So they had all these different people that basically take on a lot of people every year in agriculture. So you've got like McHale, Reeseve College, Cars, Billington. Oh, Forces Farm, I didn't realise they were there, but they're here. And um, they've had like little, like a meaty place for people that are interested in careers and a workshop as well. Don't know whether Ian might have filmed it before, to be honest, because he's here somewhere for me. What do you think of this, James? The uh, Kate, what's it called? A farm hall? Farm, farm lift. lift. Farm lift. Ah. Do you like it? Yeah. Look a bit confused. Yeah, I like pushing a bit of green waste up there. <laughs> Just been kind of like thrown out because James and Clara with us and they couldn't do what they call a breakdown because they were with us. So Charlotte's had to stand outside. Luckily, we bumped into Bateman to Sophie from Bateman's holding Clara while Charlotte's holding James because he's fell asleep. And I'm going to run and get our coats and bag off Malone. But that is Lama. Lama over and out, I suppose. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Putting the batteries back on so they'll start. Putting the batteries back on so they start. <laughs> outside the toilets found Matt but he's turning handy because he's holding Clara while James has got Charlotte's got James anyway I'm going to just quickly do the birthdays today Agri Dan um, he's off of TikTok it's Agri Dan 7530 go and check him out John Marshall is 41 happy birthday Jamie Crooks is I don't know he's not five so but he's on there Lucy Spilby is on today and we've got Gordon Machette I think it's, it's pronounced as 56 Jessica Hay Hastings or Ho Ho how do you spell that? What's that say? But, yeah, ha but Haskings. Haskings is 29. Stu Stinky Reese is on there. Um, <laughs> and Oliver Sims, happy ninth birthday. So that's everyone's birthday today. We are now leaving Lama. So hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all tomorrow. And thanks, Matt. Thanks. <laughs> You're a tractor spotter. Get yourself to Lama on the last night. That's a truck, but see all the beacons. It's been a load of tractor driving past including the fast track with a sprayer on but it's gone now I missed it I was sticking to Clara in the car I think that is about all from Cla uh, Clara 20 Lama 2024 uh, are you laughing as well I hope you've enjoyed it um, I've just edited it on the M6 Charlotte's driving so let me know what's been your favourite bit of Lama and I'll see you all tomorrow where I'm going to be somewhere very very different